sort of context and at the same time expand that to include other people that might not necessarily be visiting those sites and those locations. So I think there's, you know, there's a liberty or a liberation or, you know, some sort of practice about um, trying to shake up what these identities are of these spaces and who we are and who we think our audience is or what an artist is. Um, you know, I think also just the, the, a kind of practice of freedom is, it's also something that is, is very much not about being an artist for me as well, too. And it's a, a kind of approach that I bring to um, raising a child and to a kind of philosophical inquiry about uh, the world. And it's, um, you know, I think the thing about art world and being an artist and being an educator is that there's a way that art is so big, it can be so inclusive. And I think that that's really ultimately very um, expansive. And that I, I can bring in all kinds of interest and ideas and people and ideas and subject matter. And it's also a place where I can mingle with the ideas that Guillermo Gomez Pena is talking about as well. So there's a way that voice articulates and opens up and expands a kind of space of freedom of, and a kind of autonomous zone or a kind of way to imagine and reimagine um, who we are and who we are together right here and right now and what's not complete and what needs to be completed somehow, you know, sort of compelled to be completed. So I think, in, well, now I'm just kind of going, lots to say. I, <laughs> I can say one thing, too. Do you want to go? Go ahead. <laughs> That's good. You can keep laughing. I also think, though, I have to say, maybe a more dour thing, I feel like... Um, that if art is the, uh, you know, we're in kind of big trouble if art is where, is the only place where freedom happens. I think that, I think that's a, you know, I think art at its best can only model what freedom looks like. I think we actually have to inhabit it ourselves. And, and, and I think that's a, a thing that it does well, is it shows people ways of doing things possibly. But I mean, I think you, you can see those anywhere really. I mean, I think you can see those in, in, in you know, the Zapatistas or, or all sorts of other, sort of forms of um, you know, exercising of models of what, what, what the world could, could come to look like. And, uh, oh, there's, there's, there's a ton of censorship going on every minute, but I think what, I, what, I, what I've enjoyed so much about this panel is it started out with a Mad Max and then it ended with a you know, a crazy nun, and in, in between all kinds of things happen, and I, and I really think that, that what Guillermo said about uh, fear, fear inhabiting our minds and, and consuming our lives, I mean, you know, I, I, think that, I think all of us, all of us who fight that fear and don't let it destroy us and consume us, even in the face of tremendous censorship and tremendous cruelty, I mean, what's going on in this world is unlike anything I've ever experienced in my life, and I don't know if it's the media or just the tools that we have or the incredible arrogance of the government. I, I don't know what's generating the kind of cruelty that we, we are practicing on a daily, you know, daily basis with our fellow countries and our fellow citizens and the citizens within our country and even, you know, even animals within our country. I mean, I'm not a vegetarian, but the things that are going on in, in, in these uh, corporate, corporate agricultural uh, uh, corporations, it's just, it's just horrendous. To, 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 to these little animals, you know? And I think that we need to fight this as hard as we can, whether we use art or we use intellectual tools or we laugh at it every day, every day, every day. And I think that that's what being an artist is. And one chooses whether they're going to put them themselves in a position where, I mean, freedom, I don't even, you know, the, the word, the definition of that changes, it just changes with every situation. But in order to feel free, I think you have to risk everything. And it's interesting to say that in an, in an academic setting because I, I know full well what the limitations of academia are. I mean, I've had to tell people that, you know, they can't go to my wedding and be, be married, even though I'm, I, I'm married to Annie Sprinkle, the notorious sex goddess of the world. Did I just say something? What did I just, they, can't, they can't get married. Oh, yeah, everyone can get married. What I meant was you can't be nude. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, since we put the since we put the rule out there, uh, you can't be nude. And I've had to say to people, I'm like, you know, I'm married to Annie Sprinkle, but right at this moment, I'm also married to UC Santa Cruz as the chair of the art department. And that puts me in a really compromised position, you know. So uh, life's really interesting, and so is art. And 
I think I just want to thank everybody who, came, who is on this wacko panel with me. Thank you so much, and thank you, audience, and thank you, Judith. And Judith wants to say one more thing. One more thing. Oh, we have a, have a couple more things. Shelby? Shelby? After the end. I, okay, I, we do have to wrap up because we're um, typically way over time and that's how things go. Um, but before we do, um, there are some special party favors. Um, and uh, I'm glad that Suzanne mentioned education. This has been very educational for me in, uh, in numerous ways, uh, both looking uh, at the panelists and as well as um, uh, at the audience. Um, but I have some graduation certificates, uh, Suzanne for you, um, and I will channel Linda. I, Linda Mary uh, Montano, founder of the Art Life Institute, do hereby declare that Suzanne Cockrell is a performance artist. Uh, Here's your certificate. Ted. And, and I did this because you two were shy. That's how you got to be first. Oh, okay. um, so Ted, uh, I, Linda Mary Montano, founder of the Art Life Institute, do hereby declare that Ted Purvis is a performance artist. <laughs> Congratulations. Guillermo. I don't have to say the whole thing. Uh, but Guillermo Gomez Pena, you've been given this award as well by the founder of the Art Life Institute, who hereby declares that you are a performance artist. <laughs> so, <laughs> Elizabeth Stevens. The founder of the Art Life Institute hereby awards you uh, the title of performance artist. <laughs> Dr. Annie Sprinkle, uh, I, I'm gonna channel again. I, Linda Mary Montano, founder of the Art Life Institute, do hereby declare that Annie Sprinkle is a performance artist. Congratulations. <laughs> Uh, Linda also asked me to let the, uh, the seven collaborators, as well as the conductor, know that um, they, as well, have been awarded the certificate uh, as performance artist, uh, a performance artist as a collaborator with Linda Montano. And there was one, and there are enough for many, many more performance artists in the world. So thank you all for coming. <laughs>